just smelled good enough to eat and that is definitely what I strive for all the time. You don't need no space. Just follow me. Like a mirror, you reflect me. Like a Friday night on the weekend. I feel blessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film hygiene, fragrance, and lifestyle related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, I have some fragrance layering combinations that I have worn pretty much over the last week or so. And I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys. So these are not necessarily like summer layering combinations. They're really just things that I have picked up and just, you know, wanted to try out and this is what we came up with so if you want to see all of my fragrance layering combos just keep watching so i literally have like eight combinations to show you guys so i'm not gonna try to spend too too much time on each of them because most of you are familiar with all of these that i'm going to be talking about because you guys know i'm not like a huge you know perfume expert or anything like that i just like to wear what i like and it just so happens to be mostly the cheap stuff honestly so <laughs> let's hop into the first one so this first one i really really enjoyed i actually wore this to like a little outdoor concert type of vibe so first off here we have the honey oil from pink so i did use this in conjunction with my summer melody little travel size body cream and that brings me into the rest of the combination so this was before i had this large size bottle i actually did pick this up with the reward so that's why it has no dent in it so basically i use this with the honey oil and the fragrance mist and the little body cream so the fragrance notes for this are golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. So I thought that this would be like a very nice honey, vanilla, sweet, fruity summer combo. And I really enjoyed that. And I went ahead and topped that off with my honey wildflower perfume from Bath and Body Works. So it was just like a nice little honey floral combo. Of course, not too floral because I'm not like a huge floral person at all but this just really gave me like sweet pretty dainty summer vibes and i was just really here for it. honey wildflower does have like a little pear note in it of course it has that honey and the wildflowers so all of that together just gave me a nice sweet fruity combo and it was just amazing for the night out so this next one i'm actually wearing today so i have been absolutely loving bubblegum pop like bubblegum pop has been giving me everything i need and more so today i actually wore my victoria's secret nectar wave lotion and this is pretty much like victoria's secret version of cotton candy clouds it's just a little bit more grown up so this does have an agave note and also has pink berries so i decided to go ahead and pair that with my bubblegum pop and i've been getting a lot of usage out of this i do luckily have one more backup but as you can see i have been getting a lot of use out of it it is actually below the label now so this does have notes of gumball sugar candied fruit and citrus burst so in the shower gel of bubblegum pop i feel like it has an even more of a bubblegum scent to it so that's why i'm kind of upset that they didn't put this in the lotion form so you know we are forced to pretty much kind of be like creative so i actually wore this today and then i paired that with twinkling midnight sky so it gave me like a blackberry bubblegum type of fragrance so this one has notes of midnight flower sparkling vanilla and ice blackberry so it kind of made bubblegum pop grow up a little bit and it kind of elevated a little bit to me in my opinion because at first i actually didn't like this i actually only smelled flowers when i first got that fragrance but luckily i did not give it away because now that it's hot outside i just get a lot of that blackberry note with a little hint of vanilla and it just smells divine and fruity so i'm very happy i kept it so so the original combination that I had with bubblegum pop, I actually used my cotton candy clouds body cream, but I have since used that body cream up. So I'll just have this little lotion for visualization purposes. But 
Cotton Candy Clouds has notes of sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. And I promise these two together are like my all time favorite for now with bubblegum pop. Like Cotton Candy Clouds and bubblegum pop together, it just, it's like the sweet marriage that you did not know you needed. Like it just really brings out the sweetness. It's just so fun, so sugary, creamy bubble gum is just amazing and then i top that all off with my sugar rush body oil from ancient cosmetics this one it kind of gives me like a vanilla candy vibe so this with the cotton candy clouds with the bubble gum pop it was just like a sugar overload but what i do like about the bubble gum pop spray is that it does have that little bit of citrus so it's not just like a flat sweet note it's like you know, when you're baking cookies, you of course want to use your sugar, but you had to have to add a pinch of salt so that it's just not like a flat sweetness that just does not taste good. You always need like a little extra step to step it up just a little bit. So I feel like that is what the bubblegum pop does for cotton candy clouds. And I absolutely love that combination. So the next was pretty much like a chill day and it was also a rainy day. So I love to wear scents like this when it's raining outside. Rainbow shower and I thought I picked up the lotion, but I actually picked up the wrong lotion. So I'm not gonna show you that, but I used rainbow shower from Victoria's Secret. And this one is just like a nice, fresh, watery, with a little bit of pear type of aquatic fragrance. So as you can see, I have a huge dent in this because I like to just spray this when I'm not really wearing anything. And I just want to, you know, to just smell fresh. And this really smells really good. It's like a sweet, fresh fragrance. So it has wild plumeria and dewy pear. So it's like a little bit of a floral with that little sweetness in the background. And I went ahead and paired that with my little bitty Marc Jacobs the Daisy Oh So Fresh. I have this little dabber here and I just dabbed this all over, but those two together really gave me a sweet, easy fragrance combination. It just, I smelled clean, I smelled fresh out of the shower, and I still smelled pretty and girly. So I feel like this little combo right here was very nice for a very chill rainy day. And if you have these two, definitely try these out on days where you just don't wanna do too much. You just wanna smell like shower fresh, but still pretty at the same time. I swear, I feel like you would enjoy that combination. So the next one, I feel like this was the perfect summer combo. It was just so hot outside on the day that I wore this. And I snuck in a little bit of Project Use It Up as well with this combination. So I started out with my Skin Smoothie Lotion and this is from Jergens, And this is the Pink Grapefruit and Pomelo scent. So nice and citrusy, but also sweet at the same time. And of course we love that pink color of the bottle. It's so so pretty so i went ahead and paired that with my grapefruit frosé which i do not show this a lot of love even though i really enjoy it so grapefruit frosé is like a grapefruit with sugar sprinkled on top very refreshing very juicy nice and sweet but not too too sweet you still get like a nice freshness but it's still you know sweet enough that if you're not a huge fresh lover, you will still enjoy this scent. So this does have notes of sparkling pear, frozen rosé, and sun splash sugar. So I put those two, that lotion as well as that mist with my floral grapefruit from Dossier. So this is Dossier's version of the Chance by Chanel, the Otandre version, and that is my favorite Chanel perfume. I always get compliments whenever I wear that one. And I actually just ran out of my actual Chanel, so I just went ahead and used this one since I do have it in my collection, and go ahead and use this up first before I buy another Chanel. So that's why I am happy to have this one. But this does also have some grapefruit notes in there. It also has some floral. It has black currant. So it's just a juicy, fresh, sweet combination. And when it was 100 plus degrees outside, I feel like that was the perfect 
combination to really feel refreshed i didn't feel bogged down i felt like i was still fresh throughout the day and i could really withstand that heat so that was a great little summer combo right there so this next one i have really been enjoying blueberry sugar pancakes lately and i told you guys that i just thought that fragrance was okay but the more and more i wear it it has been very juicy and i've just really been enjoying it but i did recently run out of my body cream so i do have to get another lotion so of course i started out with the body cream that i don't have to show you here because i actually already got rid of that packaging but i did go in with the shower gel as well as the mist here so here is what the mist looks like from last year but they did recently re-release this one so if you didn't get to try this you definitely still have a chance so this has notes of sugar blueberries fresh pancakes and caramel cream drizzle so i don't really get a lot of that caramel cream drizzle in this and i wish i did so what i did to bring that out some more i went ahead and used my caramel butterscotch body oil from ancient cosmetics so this right here really brought that caramel note out and i feel like it just was what i was missing with this fragrance so here's what that looks like and i feel like it was really like the missing link from blueberry sugar pancakes if that really had more of that caramel note in there i feel like i would be obsessed but luckily we know how to layer so we get extra little fragrances to add in and i feel like that really brought it out for me and i just smelled like a complete and total snack i was in love so i went ahead and topped that all off with my berry blast from pink sugar so this is just basically pink sugar with a berry twist in my opinion and i really enjoy it of course i love every pink sugar that i have i need to get the creamy sunshine one because that's like the citrus version i honestly feel like they all just eventually dry down <laughs> to just regular pink sugar so it's like you're just you know spraying it all it's just the extraness of it all that we still enjoy to use but that combination right there smelled so delicious like that was one of my favorite combos out of this whole video it smelled so good it was strong and i really enjoyed it i just smelled good enough to eat and that is definitely what i strive for all the time so this next combination was a nice marshmallow delicious just summer night combo and you already know where i'm going with this of course we had to go ahead and use our girl beach nights here so i actually used the body cream because since i got the body cream recently i haven't been using this lotion i'm just gonna save this lotion for my other spray that i have but you know we started off with that beach nights has notes of toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla this is just your ooey gooey salty marshmallow it's like you're at a little bonfire and you're just toasting marshmallows you're having a great time and you smell delicious it's not like bonfire bash where you smell like the fire you're sitting next to even though i love bonfire bash that's still creamy but for those of you that don't i feel like beach nights is a great alternative because it's still like a creamy sexy vanilla so i did also top that off i went back in with my caramel butterscotch body oil because i just wanted to add a little bit more sweetness on top and i feel like you cannot go wrong with the caramel note it just smelled like you know caramel s'mores by the beach it was just amazing and then of course i went in with my spray and i have been getting through this spray honestly a lot and I don't know if you guys can tell but i'm actually right here with this spray so this is another one that i'm happy i have a backup of because i have been getting through this spray like no other so i went ahead and topped that all off with my favorite marshmallow perfume and that is princess by killian so of course whenever you think of marshmallows if you don't think of you know love don't be shy i know that's another one that everyone loves i have to get that one as well but for right now since i have princess this has been doing me justice when i want to have my marshmallow scents so this one is like it starts off with that nice fluffy green tea scent and then it just really 
warms up to my skin to a sweet marshmallow so of course it was a no-brainer that i needed to pair those two together and with that caramel butterscotch oil it just added that extra oomph and sweetness and just butteriness that i needed and i am just so enamored with that scent combo as well so the last one that we have here i realized that i could have paired this with something else but i will definitely let you guys know what that is so I went with my routine for the cacao rose. So this one is actually retired from Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure if they're gonna bring it back, but this was at the semi-annual sale for 75% off. I was actually very shocked that I liked this scent because I did not like whipped rose latte at all. I didn't get any chocolate from that. I literally only got a rose and I'm not with just having straight up rose. So I was, you know, pretty happy when I smelled this one because I can definitely smell that cacao. So I did also go in with the matching body oil and body wash to this scent. So here's what that looks like. And then for my actual lotion, I used this birthday cake from Amina Cosmetics. And I actually found this in TJ Maxx. So this one's just very sweet and it just smells really nice and vanilla. Of course, because I needed something sweet to go along with that because it's still not like extremely sweet. Even though I can smell that chocolate, it's like a pure cacao note it's not like a milk chocolate so i needed something a little bit sweeter but where i think i fumbled the bag i forgot about my cocoa puffs little body butter that i got and i probably could have paired that with that as well and that probably would have worked out for me so i feel like i fumbled a little bit and i could have used that but that's okay so i did go ahead and top that off with my rose chocolate from gourmand beauty because i told you guys this to me smells like valentine's day it smells like milk chocolate with pink rose petals and that just you know felt like it was just what i needed for this combination i know it wasn't very original but it just you know helped to sweeten it up i know like a lot of my combinations probably are like hmm, you're pairing berry with berry or this with this and that and that but that's just pretty much how my brain works and that's how i like to pair scents so it works out for me and i enjoy it so those are all the combinations that I have to show you guys from everything that I wore over the last week or so. And let me know if you try any of these or have you tried any of my combinations. Let me know how they work out for you. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.